I would like to introduce my own method of calibration. This is an unofficial method, so please perform it at your own risk. This is a variant of the Uruko marker method, but it features a very low number of markers. With a small number of markers, it is easy to recognize from a distance even with a low resolution and noisy camera, and the estimation accuracy is stable. Please refer to the official README and print three Uruko markers from the Advanted folder. In my environment, I printed them to a size of less than 30 cm. This is the size of an A3 paper printed with margins. It is very important to create a clear white area around the black area for marker recognition. Next, I will describe my setup. This is a simplified view of my room. Two cameras are attached above the front, and a calibration marker is placed on the floor. Note the position of the marker number 0. This position and angle corresponds to the origin of the world coordinates. Needless to say, you can think of yourself as moving in that vicinity. For the camera, I use a 500 yen camera that I bought at a local discount store. And importantly, the three markers need to be placed on the same plane as much as possible. Otherwise, detection of the markers will fail in many cases. Now, let's perform the calibration. The internal parameters should be obtained in advance. There are two cameras, each camera scan markers have to be executed. This step is just a preparatory step, make sure that three markers are detected. If the detection is unstable, the position of the marker needs to be adjusted. This environment, my cameras are so cheap and noisy than jitters are. Okay, now is the time. You click the reset markers and scan markers. This process, you should press only one camera scan markers. Wait for a while. As the detection continues, the estimated value will gradually stabilize. Then, stop the scan at some point. And calculate the position of two cameras. It is slightly off. However, it is sufficient for rough motion capture. So let's have a little dance. I'm not very good at it. Oh. The detection point of the foot is buried in the floor. If this happens, the scale of lower body is wrong. In my case, 1.0 looks good. Then the coordinate system will be recalculated. Camera positions, too. Now you're really done. If you care about the details, you can do more rigorously. Calibration with the CHRUCO board requires a very large print. There is no need to struggle with printed materials and the estimation is stable. That's all. I hope this video is of some help to you.